Hello, welcome to this edition of the Telescope Makers Workshop. My name is Francis O'Reilly and I'll be your host as I go over polishing an optical flat. <clears throat> I've made a number of tapes thus far on this subject and I'm running close to the end. We did rough grinding, fine grinding, polishing, pretty soon we're going to be into figuring. As of my last tape, I was working on polishing my fifth surface. I've now completed the polishing of my fifth surface in pretty much record time. And aside from splotches of pitch on the surface, which uh, is uh, just dirt, it's very, very well polished. I began my sixth surface. After an hour of polishing, I'm almost done. I'm absolutely amazed. <clears throat> Fine grinding through 3 micron using a soft pitch lap and using number 85 rare earth optical polishing compound from Universal Photonics has worked wonders. Polishing is rough on your clothes and so when polishing I always recommend using an apron. Now you will see in some of my videos that I haven't used my apron. What you don't see is the grief my wife put me through when I showed her my clothes full of pitch. What you may hear in the background, and you will hear in a few minutes, is the washing machine going on spin cycle. I'm in the basement of my home, which is a good place for an optical workshop, generally speaking. And so I'm going to ask you to excuse the sound, but I think many of you will be in the same position. First thing I want to do right now is I've been heating my pitch lap because I want to hot press it. It's still very, very soft after having sat in a bucket of hot water for about 10 minutes. I have a tool, a piece of aluminum used in building homes to hold joists and such together attached to a pair of vice grips. I'm just holding with a pair of vice grips. Now, if the pitch lap weren't hot, I would heat this on a flame and then press it into the pitch. However, in this instance, the pitch is relatively soft, and I'm just going to go. I'm not going to worry too much about the coming up. And I'm just going to push this in, make sure I have some channels in here. Do it first one way, then 90 degrees the other way. Understand I made this tool, this pitch lap, originally with a perfect pitch mat. And I believe the website to buy it from is perfectpitch.com. I'd say don't quote me on it, but certainly if you Google pitch and slap or something along those lines, telescope making, the website will come up. I put a copious amount of cerium oxide, primer should have, on the surface of my belt and just push the wet in a little bit. And that's really all it takes is to hot press this. Now I've got a pitch lap, channels in it, they've been closed a little bit, and my next step is going to be just to cool it off so that the pitch lap hardens up a bit because right now it's too soft to polish. I'm going to do that under cold water and then I'm going to come back and polish. When last I was polishing, I was polishing with my optical flat on top. Now I'm going to put my optical flat on the table, secure it with my clamps, and I'm going to polish with the pitch lap on top. I'm hoping to polish for about 15 minutes. The way this is going, after a total of maybe two to two and a half hours of polishing, I should be completely polished out to the edge. I rinsed off my cerium oxide. I put some more on top of the optical flat. I'm going to turn the pitch lap over and just back and forth. You'll notice I didn't micro facet this lap. There's different theories about that. 
I don't see any real need at this point to microfacet. However, to make a big difference. Cooling off the pitch lap makes it a little bit harder and better able to polish. Too hard and you run the risk of scratching your work. Too soft and you're not going to do much polishing at all. But, and this is a little on the soft side. However, in an hour of this relatively soft pitch lap, I've made progress like I've never made before in my telescope making career. Now you want to be pretty careful when you, with the stroke, you want a total of about three center over center pretty much all the time when I'm polishing. And when the lap is on top, I'm working the edge fairly well. I don't put a lot of pressure on the back lap at this time while I'm polishing. It doesn't really help anything. I'd also like to note that with my polishing, I don't uh, really at all pay, I don't really pay attention at all to the figure. No side to side motion, no nothing. Just lap over glass and the only time that counts is time that I spent actually pushing lap over glass. I'm going to stop for just a minute because foolishly I neglected to look at the clock. I have a little clock that I bought from Radio Shack that I use to keep track of the time that I've been polishing.